Hey there YouTube, California Prepper. Well, I was looking through my recent videos and I realized that I had never uploaded uh, my police video. And unfortunately, the one I have recorded already is on my computer which is locked down with a virus right now. So, I have to shoot another one. So this is going to be uh, pretty much my first thoughts on uh, my newest spider go. For now, anyways, I do have another one on the way. Actually, I have a couple on the way now. Got a, from a trade video, I have a, a fully serrated Tenacious, a fully spider edged Tenacious coming in. Um, and I also have a Persistence uh, for my wife. So, that's going to be pretty cool. Those should be here anytime. But um, this is my newest one I have now. And, guys, this has been one of my grail knives for as long as I can remember. Uh, liking Spyderco. Um, as soon as I seen this knife, I just fell in love with it. And, and if you guys follow my channel, you know I do not like serrations. I'm a plain edge guy all the way, but this knife is just so badass. And when you see this knife, it just, I don't know, the plain edged version just looks too much like the rest of their knives, you know? Uh, especially the new one with the, the G10 model, doesn't have the swedge up top. Just you know, it sort of looks like an Endura or a, a what is it, a Gale Bradley? Is it, I, I think that's what it is. Don't quote me on that. Um, but uh, this knife, just the this model, especially the serrated model with that swedge on there, you can you you know what this knife is as soon as you see it. Whether you've seen that police on there or not, you would know what this knife is. And it is just one wicked piece of steel, guys. This thing is wicked sharp, super tough, just awesome it is kind of a pain in the butt because of the stainless handle so you do gotta constantly wipe it down um, but you know it is what it is um, and this is the exact model that I fell in love with in the magazine um, the first Spyderco magazine I have which actually it's weird they're not in the 2013 edition so I had to look back but they are right there in the front of the magazine, or sort of towards the front of the magazine, and man, I just really fell in love with the look of that knife. It is just so badass looking. See, the G10 models, it just doesn't quite look like the police, and it's just not nearly as badass as that Spider Edge. You know, I never would have traded um, for a, a fully serrated tenacious until um, I actually handled this knife and uh, felt how sharp a spider edge can be and uh, you know it, it's pretty cool and maybe uh, you know a fully serrated tenacious uh, would be a good thing to have an emergency pack or or something like that you never know so uh, I figured what the hey why not try it out and if it's not right for me uh, get rid of it but there is not a another police that I would want except for this. This is the exact model uh, I wanted. Big shout out to Glock 17 Ninja for making this possible. Uh, he hooked me up with a stellar deal. He took a big hit on it, and uh, he it was all just to help me get a grail knife. So big shout out to him. He's a real cool guy. Uh, he he likes to help others uh, get things that they want. So he's a really cool guy, and. Uh, want to shout him out for that as you can see what I was talking about about the fingerprint thing so I don't carry this as much as I'd like to because like I said it is a pain to carry around and the last thing I want to do is dirty it up uh, the blade is VG10 my favorite blade steel it's absolutely flawless there's no real marks scratches or anything on this knife uh, he obviously is like me and uh, keeps his knives and just about pristine condition. This thing is razor, razor sharp. Let's see. Let's piece of paper. Put some writing paper. I mean, that spider edge is just wicked sharp. Really, really impressed with it. And uh, I can't say enough great things about this knife. It's just an, a work of art, in my opinion. I absolutely love this knife. I never, in a million years thought that I would have this police. Never. So, uh, 
again, thank you, brother. I really appreciate it. Uh, this really means a lot to me. Let's see, put it side to side next to a military for a size comparison. Now, it's not a small knife. Now, why I have these knives up here is I eat, this was my EDC for the last few days, and man, these three knives together, minus the military, or you can add the military as well, uh, but these three in general together was just an amazing EDC, and I don't know, these knives to me just, they fit well together. I don't know if it's, you know, because they look alike and they remind me of each other, um, but all three of these knives just have a lot in common, and they they go well together. The Kiwi 3 is just a great little EDC knife, perfect for uh, everyday tasks, you know, just about anything you can think of, you can do with this little knife. Uh, another great knife, if you can't do it with this little knife, you can most likely do it with the medium uh, native. This native is one of my favorite EDCs. I absolutely love this knife. Lightweight. This and the Kiwi 3 go hand in hand as two of my favorite EDC knives. They probably see the bulk of the work um, that I do and they're just great together. And uh, both these knives really really remind me or I guess the police really reminds me of these knives. Uh, as you can see the native and the police, the older models, they like that swedge on top and I really dig that. That's what I liked so much about this native was the swedge on top. I really like that swedge and it, it's a bummer that they got rid of that. But I really dig the swedge and I guess it's just the stainless and stainless it just matches well. Great little EDC combo I think. So this is a uh, most of the time, this is how this is carried, if I do carry it. I'll carry the police, the native, and the Kiwi 3. And, just for a little backup, I'll have the military. So, this was just a little quick rundown of my, my feelings of this knife. and I, I just can't say enough great things about this knife. I absolutely love the Spyderco Police. Great, great knife. Um, let's see give you guys some specs just in case you want them uh, if you don't want to stick around for the specs I don't blame you one bit uh, but the blade steel on here like I said we have VG10 my favorite steel out there I absolutely love it it's gorgeous holds a pretty decent edge and uh, you can sharpen it fairly easy so VG10 is definitely one of my favorite steels um, the uh, blade length is four and one eighth inches the cutting edge is three and three or thirteen sixteenths. Sorry about that, guys. So you have a pretty solid cutting edge there. You still have uh, a little bit of. There's not really a choil there, but you can sort of choke up on it, and uh, it doesn't dig into your finger very much at all. So you know, it, I don't think it's supposed to be a choil, but you can definitely choke up and use it as a choil. Uh, next up is uh, handle length is five and five sixteenths inches so that's the closed length of the knife is five and five sixteenths inches uh, overall length from tip to the end of the handle you're looking at nine and seven sixteenths inches and the overall weight is five point six ounces so that's just a quick rundown of the stats out of the the uh, catalog and uh, I'll do a more in-depth review of this knife uh, later on but this is really just uh, my first thoughts video since my other first thoughts video was uh, deleted or actually locked in my other computer and I can't get to it so that's gonna do it guys thanks for watching um, again big shout out to Glock 17 Ninja for uh, making this possible and uh, thanks for all my for all my subs uh, sticking around and watching my videos and uh, just really appreciate it. That's going to do it. California Prepper, I'm out of here.